Billy Steph stepped across Van Ness, San Francisco. Cars sped around corners in a shower of noises and music. Up ahead loomed the bodies of two hotels. Jack Tar to the north, the Goodman Building to the south. Billy continued up the slight incline, past the Buffalo Stoop Palace, and a hole in the sidewalk, and a weathered fence. Then he sat on the doorstep of the Goodman Building, looked over the street, thought. The Goodman Building is one Victorian gypsy stuck in the middle of rush hour without shoes but a violin in each hand. Up above, the Goodman Building and the Jack Tar Hotel argued with secret voices. The Goodman Building shouldered a pair of gypsy woolens. The Jack Tar, kid football uniform, cleats, pads, and bracelets. Hey, Jack, cried the Goodman Building. Tip our hats to the storms. I can't, came the reply. I got a helmet. See the uniform? It's a professional uniform. Then let's say good morning to all the baby teeth in Port Chester, New York. I'm too busy. The coach arrives from Texas at any moment. All right. How about we just clap our hands for the dignity of rooftops? Don't you know, said the Jack Tar, that's against our policy. Billy entered the Goodman Building. steps, arrived the first floor, faced the bulletin board, wrote in his notebook, the Goodman Building is a house for blue and sapphire singers, where carnival birds bebop a Dixieland painter, himself dressed only in a wristwatch, but the city wants to kick us out tear the place down or fill it up with fluorescent lights and sinister bathrooms. Billy crossed the hall, stuck his head in the kitchen door. Five people discussed strategies for survival. The lawyer drank coffee from a styrofoam cup. Things are getting tough. Help on Friday. Avoid evictions. Billy changed directions. Headed east, down the hall, past a room with mythos, inside, outside, chattering characters all night long sometimes. Long puzzle studies in order to train the brain a human game. Perspective. There's a strong argument for the existence of alternative zones within the mainstream of any society. Just as a body needs a left hand as much as a right, society must find a balance between tradition and new invention. The Goodman Building is a laboratory for such a balance, and the collective within it represents a true alternative zone.
until he climbed another 23 steps to the floor above. Winnie the Clown barked out a song to Lenin while unwrapping bread and sausage in a room full of blue paper. Billy wrote in his notebook, Oh, romance of wooden hotels where people make statues and secret maps. Yeah, whole thing pitched a slight degree facing north. The south part, a rooftop, a garden. On each floor, a shrine. A dark room, or Mr. Dada, the construction paper heart, slipped underneath each of our doors on St. Valentine's Day. This worker has his room organized along aesthetic and mechanical principles. His studio is standing evidence of hundreds of ideas from the multitude of artists. He's either known or studied and understood. The room is a museum and a treasure chest of information. In it are libraries, rare paintings, a history of Western art in the substance of pictures from Life and Look magazine totems, sketches, a workbench. An artist is often a primitive and a person of unique sophistication. Billy Steps glanced at the ceiling. Also, a skylight, even on gray days. source of inspiration is often veiled. Sometimes we risk everything to stand on this dark quality with power and trust. Whatever arises from the experience is carried into the world by way of craft, repetition, a knowledge of woodlands and social habits, and continuing work. At the Goodman Building, a tenant is responsible for his or her own goals rather than somebody else's fixed and often inflexible standards. You've got to move out into open space for the realization of what you want to do. Living here creates a large responsibility for your personality. Billy entered his room. Click, tap, tap, went a typewriter. A story entitled, Many Rooms Full of Powerful Light. They entered the door of forgotten words. Nouns like sombrero and turquoise drew their attention for the matter at hand. When would they be captured by the illuminated cloud? Would the horses be able to stand it? It was better that the group had their minds occupied by the light entertainments of words like apron, linoleum, and eyebrow. What we need is a sunny place to work. This building stands on work, work, honest, passionate, and full of the wild animals of the imagination, work. Some humans operate in a directly social context, and we have theater, new electrical wiring, meetings, events, techniques, craft, and politics. Politics. This building's political history over the last 10 years is a complex, oddly balanced mixture of confrontations, friendly persuasion, seduction, anarchistic entertainment, grant writing, street singing, and money raising. At present, the building and land is owned by the Redevelopment Agency. Originally, the agency wanted to tear the place down and sell the land to a developer who would kick out the community. The tenants of the Goodman Building have also come up with a way to purchase and finish rehabbing the building, but the agency has refused to accept their plan.
and the Goodman Building. No community can exist for long without fresh dreams. On the cosmic level, all dreams are shared. The job for an artist is to manifest the details and have the wisdom to know when a false voice is truly false. The process is an act of faith. It involves timing and compassion and the ability to balance contradiction. Plus the level of the sand painter or the man, woman who heals. What arrives is a healthy trade-off of ideas, impressions, wisecracks, adventure notebooks, watercolors, acrobatic stunts, plays, luminous alphabets, cartoons, and freshly printed poetry, plus the invisible touch. Also, radio programs, blueprints in two and seven dimensions, electronic prayer flags, kinetic collage works, painted sleeves, giant birthday cards, midnight lectures on black and white, and a cut and paste demonstration, printmaker's gallery, triangles, theories, and chants. Well, also, how to paint the whites of an egg, an afternoon music recital with a violin and blue light is touched with an echo of a hobo campfire. Then a signal for action and thought. Transmissions of color fly through finger to finger, darts with a geography. And paper theater, ceramics, fabric design, pen and ink, silk screen, registration theory, selected workspace management and nocturnal blossoms. Billy finished writing, grabbed an apple, and wandered out the back terrace. Lunch at the Goodman Building. Exercise in a place in the sun. 